Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. I have been really bad with intros and outros, so I'm trying to work on that. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you doing today? My name is Kidney J. The J stands for jerk because my kidneys are a pair of jerks. And what you just saw there was Amberlynn Reed's Mariah Carey impression. I am not kidding you. But anyways, this is going to be a long one. Maybe I'll let her talk more than I talk. Who knows? We'll see where this goes. All I know is I cut this down to like eight minutes, which is long for me to cut down. Um, but this one is called How My GI Scan Went psych appointment update and titanic lego vlog of course you know i cut out the titanic stuff i am zooming through this book review listen if i want to know about these books i would go on my teenage nieces goodreads and find out all about it just saying amber and i we don't have the same taste in reading um now i do want to say she does she is dishonest in this one about drinking and I'm sure about other substance abuse that she didn't sort of um, let on that is on the psych evaluation like questionnaire thing but whatever it is what it is um also we skipped the vlog before just an update of her weight because I can't be reviewing everything she does but her current weight was 211 point something I don't know but anyways moving in the right direction let's get into this one without further ado you guys know the drillio leave a like leave a comment and let's go okay so we have a grocery haul um we are shopping for groceries two times a week and it's working out really good since we're not ordering takeout so first things first we got two of these beef sirloin steaks we got some chicken tenderloins fresh chicken wings we got some whole grain thin spaghetti we want to make a little uh trail mix moment with nuts so we got roasted and salted pistachios salted whole cashews salted peanuts um and then honey roasted almonds so i'm guessing all those nuts um they said they're gonna make a trail mix which will go on her little snack plate or her charcuterie board she's been making lately so this is a little bit of a a splurge if you will <laughs> um i really love scalloped potatoes so i am going to have just like a serving of this with some protein and veggies it is honestly so good i recommend this you guys Ugh, great comfort food Wait a minute. Amber, I thought you said you're only eating when you're hunger hungry. Not for comfort, not because you're sad, not because you're bored, but only because you're hungry. So hopefully, and I doubt this, that that is just a little treat. It's not going to cause a trigger and we're not going to be hearing about this a few days later. We got some mozzarella string cheese, some shredded mexican style blend which is my favorite we got some brie is it brie you're looking for oh my god i love brie love it some salami cottage cheese daisy cottage cheese which is the brand to get it trust me we got some jalapeno pepper we got some squash zucchini scallion we got some bananas, got some pears, grapefruit, which I've never had a grapefruit before, so I might have to try it with you guys. Some grapes, some um, pineapple here, apples, a little tiny watermelon, a big thing of broccoli, and also some fresh pineapple. So, all right, so lots of fresh fruits, veggies. Um, processed meats not not too thrilled about um how has she never had a grapefruit i'm gonna guess that that's something she's not gonna like it's a very acquired taste um it's more than tart it actually yeah it has a very distinct taste and i'm sure 99 percent of you guys have tasted a grapefruit <laughs> if you want you can leave a comment about it hey guys it is the next day i'm running on 
less than three hours of sleep. It's currently 6.16 a.m. I'm so tired. So there's several tests that you have. To so I'm guessing her like really good sleep pattern is out the window. To get done um, before you get weight loss surgery. And today is one of those tests. I'm actually going to go to this place where I have to drink this stuff and I have to get my GI. Go to this place where I have to drink this stuff. She might as well be describing a bar. I scanned right here. Not looking forward to it. Um, I've been fasting for it. Okay, so um, kind of not in the right area there. She's more or less pointing at her chest. So she has to get an upper GI series. So uh, gastrointestinal series. Um, basically, it's a live x-ray you swallow usually barium and while you're swallowing that they take pictures they see how your esophagus your stomach and your um your duodenum i believe that's how you say it your small intestines basically um how the barium goes through and how everything works and i can't remember if i'm allowed to have water or not so um i did google and it said you can have a little bit of water so I've had some water, but I'm feeling a little nauseous from lack of sleep, and I think I'm pretty hungry, so I don't like getting super hungry because then, like, sometimes it could be triggering to get this level of hungry because then I overeat, but it's like, I have willpower now. I'm not, like, going to overeat or anything, but I'm just... How the hell, after a week, did she all of a sudden get willpower? Just... It's an on and off switch. I have willpower now. I'm like excited to have my <sighs> breakfast, but an update. So I thought. Listen, and I just want to say this. I want Amber Lynn Reed to succeed. Um, but in this vlog, it looks like it's sort of a slippery slope type of deal. Um, you see the food choices sort of getting a little tiny bit unhealthy. You see her sleep patterns slipping back to how they used to be. You see her talking about triggers more. Let's hope not, but just my my observation. I was just gonna have to drink like this normal like liquid that I usually get when I get like a CT scan, but hi, I'm not a doctor. So <laughs> I was wrong. So I was in I'm guessing she's talking about when you get an abdominal CT scan, which I've had, like, I get them, like, every one to two years. You drink this stuff, um, it's clear, it's not viscous in any way, it's not, it just, it's like water, like an off kind of tasting water, and I believe that's what Amberlynn gets, you know, when she was getting her, um, like, her ovaries and her uterus, all scanned. I think that's what she was expecting. By the way, I have had this barium swallow test. Not fun. I had it when I was quite young. Um, and they actually, when you're younger, they put you on this table and they tilt you all around while you drink this stuff. Unpleasant. A little radiology place and they're like, you're going to have to drink several things and you're going to have to stand up and then you're going to have to lay on the bed and then you're going to have to stretch and then you're going to have to fake cough and then you're going to have to fake poop and then you're going to have to roll on your sides. And I was like, okay, let's do this. So at first I was standing and they had me drink this super fizzy drink. I'm talking, it was so fizzy. It was hard to drink. So it was like fizzing in my face. Like my whole face got wet. It was an experience. And they were like, you're going to burp, but don't burp. And I was like, okay, I won't. I didn't. I listened to instructions. But the minute I left that room, I was, I, I, I let, I let her rip. I let one rip. I'm not going to lie. Um, so it sounds like you had to drink like, um, baking soda crystals and it just gives a better picture, um, by adding air into, uh, the esophagus and stomach and all that. And then... Um, they're like, here, you're going to drink this. It was like so thick. It was Very like young. white pudding. And they're like, you're, take two drinks of that now. So I took two drinks of that. And then they were like, okay, so here's a pill. You're going to take the pill with that super thick white drink. And I have no idea about the pill. Maybe it's just to see how she swallows and how it goes down. Honestly, never heard of that. I did a little Googling 
I wasn't going to get too deep into it. And I was like, okay. And I kind of gagged a little bit and they had to hand me a bag. They thought I was going to puke. Thankfully, I didn't. Um, it was just like really extreme. Next thing, they had me lay down and I had to turn on my side and then drink this like sour drink out of a straw. It was an interesting situation type deal. I officially have an appointment to do the psych evaluation. Um, I'm having to fill out like this whole thing. Right now I'm having to answer how many drinks containing alcohol do you have on a typical day when you are drinking? I don't drink. Hell yeah. How often do you have six or more drinks on one occasion? Never. So this ma'am, <laughs> I'm going to call out this bullshit right now. Unless this survey says in the last six months or in the last four months or whenever, you are not being honest here. You used to drink all the time on you now. And those of you who have been around for a while know what I'm talking about. This is when she was breaking up with Destiny. Her best pal was White Zinfandel or whatever the strawberry, what's that one called? Boone's Farm or whatever wine. And she would come on and be slushed. Not to mention she has used substances in the last six months October Halloween remember she was on the the Delta Delta 8 um which by the way if you want me to do a video about like Delta 8 and like dependency and all that I can and what Delta 8 is compared to like THC and Delta 9 I could do all that I guarantee a question about substances was also on this survey so starting off like this is not a good sign not a good sign. And now I don't know the weight this survey or questionnaire holds. I don't know if the psychologist will go through it with her one by one or sort of ask her separate questions about it and get to the root of things. But, you know, it will show the psychologist her history of substances, dependency, dependencies, um, triggers, all that stuff. So starting off dishonest, not a good look. This is the psychological, yeah, this is pre-surgical psychological assessment. And then I have to do pre-surgical bariatric questionnaire. That's it, guys. Her and Fleen have some chicken wings. Um, she shows us the Titanic. She shows us the cats. That's it for me. I don't know if this was a long one. I feel like I've been talking forever. Um, I appreciate all of you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for your eyes and your ears. Bye.